Welcome to Eastern's Renewable Energy Center. Uh, this facility was constructed to replace a 1925 coal burning uh, steam plant that provides steam uh, to Eastern Illinois University's campus of over 3 million square feet. Uh, this facility began construction back in the fall of 2009, uh, after which we discontinued coal operations here uh, on the campus. December 14th, 2010. Uh, this facility began uh, operation this summer uh, in early June and uh, the transition has been complete where this facility now operates the entire uh, university campus uh, from this location as opposed to the former steam plant location. Uh, the biomass gasifiers that were installed here uh, are now in operation uh, and will be phasing out our use of natural gas going forward. Uh, we have two biomass gasifiers here on site. Gasification operates where in order to have combustion you need heat, fuel, and oxygen. These gasifiers operate with low oxygen levels to produce a synthetic natural gas by cooking the fuel uh, at a high temperature that synthetic natural gas then travels into a natural gas boiler where we add additional air and the natural gas combusts into flame to provide the heat. Uh, using a two-stage combustion process allows for a much cleaner burning facility as well as a much more fuel flexible uh, facility. This is the water treatment area. Uh, this provides all the uh, water purification as well as the chemical treatment of the incoming water uh, to be used through the process. This uh, reverse osmosis system will handle up, uh, up to 100 gallons a minute of processing capability. Uh, this allows us to have extremely pure water coming into the system with a cogeneration process uh, in place here at the plant. The chemical treatment is uh, for protection of the pipes and boilers for uh, long-term use so that the water does not uh, end up eating the uh, pipes or the boilers and we get a long lifetime out of the equipment. The uh, water then travels from the RO system over to the reverse osmosis storage tank. Uh, which is a 20,000 gallon tank that stores our water until we need it so that the system can be utilized uh, much more fully to its capacity. As it travels from the RO storage tank over to the boiler feed water tank, we chemically treat the water uh, with additional chemicals to uh, add protection to the water. Once the water leaves this uh, storage tank, it travels to uh, these two deaerators to remove any oxygen out of the water to reduce the potential for uh, rust in the iron pipe. The water goes out to our four different boilers that we have here in the plant. The four different boilers, we have two that operate on biomass. One of those is a high pressure boiler. And then we have two boilers that are fired by natural gas with a fuel oil backup. Here at the facility we do have two 10,000 watt solar arrays uh, that operate with a two axis tracking system. These provide a demonstration of solar panel, uh, solar applications as well as uh, research for cleaning methods and other uh, potential educational uses. This power is fed back through the grid to feed the university and the Renewable Energy Center itself. The fuel travels into the fuel storage building, uh, which is 100,000 cubic feet of fuel that we can have on hand uh, at one time, which is approximately 10 days of fuel that we will have on site at any given time. From there, uh, using the North America's largest traveling screw auger, uh, we're able to pull the wood chips from the bottom of the pile onto a belt to be transported back into the plant. 
on its way in, travels through a, a scale, so we know the quantity of material burned, and then into one of two different gasifier uh, chambers, depending on which one is in operation and calling for fuel. One of the biomass boilers here at the facility is a high pressure boiler. That boiler, or that steam at a high pressure, runs through a back pressure steam turbine, which lowers the pressure down to the pressure that we use on campus. And we use that energy uh, in that steam to produce electricity. Where typical electrical generation, you put 100 units of fuel in, 33 of those come out as electricity and the other 67 are thrown away. Here, after we take away the 33 units of electricity, we take the remaining units and export that to campus for their use, which provides very efficient and very cost-effective power.